Folks, this is where it all ends. It may be sooner, it may be later, but this behind me is where it all ends. This is Grant's tomb in Morningside Heights, just off the Hudson River in New York City on a beautiful day. Before I speak today, I just want to read to you a short text from the Word of God. This is Hebrews chapter 9 and verse 26. For then must he often have suffered since the foundation of the world. But now once, and I want you to notice the word once, not over and over again in the repeated ritualistic, cannibalistic sacrifice of the Mass, where they crucify Jesus over and over again. No, he, once was enough. We're not preaching transubstantiation here. We're not preaching the Mass, we're preaching the Master. Once in the end of the world, he's appeared to put away sin by the sacrifice of himself. And this is what I want you to focus on, is where it grants to him. The tomb of an American hero, a great general, a great president, Ulysses S. Grant, who helped win the Civil War. As it is appointed to man once to die, here it is in the Word of God, once to die. You cannot escape it. I have been preaching in cemeteries all summer long and now into the fall. Gettysburg National Cemetery, the 9-11 Memorial in Shanksville, Arlington National Cemetery. I preach at cemeteries. Why? For you to get a consciousness and develop an awareness of your own mortality. Are you listening to me? You can't escape death. The rich will die, the poor will die. It's appointed to man. It's destiny. Wants to die. The wages of sin is death. But after this, the judgment. Not Aaron judge. The judgment. Not reincarnation. Not soul sleep. Not nirvana. Not mantras. Not purgatory, not a loss of consciousness and awareness, no. Death is the end of nothing. It's the beginning of everything. Keep that in mind. But after this, the judgment. So Christ was offered once to bear the sins of many and unto them who look for him. Are you looking for Jesus? Are you looking for girls, gain, gold, glory? Are you watching and praying or watching videos, playing video games, watching TV? Christ will appear a second time for those who are looking for him without sin to salvation. General Grant, Grant's tomb. The question today from Grant's tomb is very simple. Will God grant you access into heaven? Oh, everybody's gonna go there once. You're gonna go there once for your judgment. You're gonna see the pearly gates. You're gonna see the walls of Jasper. You're gonna see the streets of gold. You're gonna look into the eyes of Almighty God one time. You're going to see the mansions. But then he either says to you, Well done, thou good and faithful servant. Come on in and stay. Or, Depart from me. I never knew you. Being granted access into heaven is all that matters. Ulysses S. Grant presided in the military at the most important time in American history. Our nation was being torn apart by the sin of slavery. Yes, I said the sin of slavery. Grant the reason he is so honored is because he was on the right side of history. Let me ask you a question. In this age of America first and, and racism and hating the immigrants and um, nationalism, are you on the right side of history or the wrong side of history? He was on the right side of history. He and Lincoln freed the slaves. Today, America faces an unprecedented crisis. We are actually, it looks like, on the brink of another civil war. Politics has become a religion. Democrats hate Republicans. Republicans hate Democrats. No one can forgive. Everyone holds grudges. Social media has made everyone mean. Social media means the total end and death of all manners, decency, courtesy, and respect. Look, we need to reconcile. We need to learn to forgive and do what Christ did. Forgive. Love your neighbor as yourself. That's what the Civil War is about. If America is going to be healed, America has to come to her knees, as I'm doing right now, and repent and turn to God. I have picked a crazy time to come to New York. The United Nations General Assembly is meeting. Putin is threatening to blow the world up with nuclear war. We have inflation. We have, we have interest rates. We have a misery index. But I have come to New York one more time 
to call America to repentance, to call every American, every citizen of the USA to get on your knees before God and to humble yourself. Social media and the internet foster pride, selfishness, the selfie, click, click, click. No, none of that's of God. As I close today, 2 Chronicles seven fourteen. if my people, God says, who are called by my name will humble themselves, humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, I will hear from heaven, forgive their sin and heal their land. Folks, to be forgiven, you have to repent. From Grant's tomb, I just want to tell you today in New York, I love you. That's why I'm here one more time, to call America to repentance. I love you. And remember, Jesus is still your answer. Amen and amen.